In lesson four of module four, expressions and equations, the students um, started to investigate the relationship between subtraction and division. So I started the class with 15 tiles and I asked the kids to take the 15 tiles and to split it into three equal groups. And a student came up to the board and visually move the tiles, physically and visually, I guess you could say. And they divided it into the 15 tiles into three equal groups. And we talked about writing what we moved as an equation, okay? So you took 15, you divided it into three equal groups, and there were five in each group, okay? So that is how we started and then I refreshed the screen and I still kept this idea of 15 divided by 3 equals 5 up there for them to see and I invited another student up and I said okay we are starting with 15 tiles and I asked the students to take tiles away from this line so I first said okay take three tiles away and we kept track and we were left with 12 tiles. I asked them to take another three tiles away. They were left with nine tiles. I asked them to take another three tiles away. They were left with six tiles. I asked them to take another three away. They were left with three tiles. And if so they took those last three tiles away. They were left with zero. Okay. So then I asked the students to make a comparison. We talked a lot of vocabulary here. The students in this subtraction, they started with the dividend and they subtracted the divisor just make sure they subtract the divisor as many times as they could to get down to zero and the number of times they subtracted the divisor which was one two three four five they ended up with the quotient definitely a lot of key vocabulary terms in this exercise okay so then I had the students do a couple with a partner and I'll just give you an example of what we did. I gave them 21 divided by 3 equals 7 and they worked with their partner to try to make a connection instead of writing this as a division problem to use it as repeated subtraction because division really is repeated subtraction. So we took 21 and we subtracted the quotient or the divisor as many times as possible to get down to zero. And what the students concluded is they would have to subtract the divisor seven times, um, and that is their quotient. Then I gave students a challenge. And I threw a variable into their equation, okay? This would look like 16 minus x, minus x, minus x, minus x to get down to zero. So the students could visually see that they have to take the dividend and subtract x four times. And then they had to think about 16 divided or split into four equal sections that were being repeatedly subtracted. And they came to the conclusion that x would have to equal four. If you're not following this video, let me move to the lesson. Um, where I think that will help you understand it a little bit more. Okay, we spend a lot of time talking about the, divide, the dividend being subtracted by the divisor three times. Okay, so I'm going to do 18 minus x minus x minus x to get it down to zero okay so this you really have to think about 
18 being divided into three equal groups, which gets you down to the answer of x equals 6. Okay, for the next one, the dividend is subtracted by the divisor five times, so it would be 35 minus y, minus y, minus y, minus y, minus y to get down to zero. And the students have to physically think about 35 being split into five equal sections in order to get down to zero. So in this case, y would equal seven. We also talked about um, doing it another way. Instead of taking the dividend and subtracting the divisor, okay, this many times, we talked about taking the dividend and subtracting the quotient to figure out our variable of x. So we would do 18 minus three is 15, minus three is 12, minus three is nine, minus three is six, minus three is three, and minus three would get down to zero. So in this case, the answer would be how many times you subtracted three from your dividend, and that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So x would equal six, the same as we got from the problem above. And then for this one, instead of taking Instead of subtracting by the divisor, we're going to again subtract by the quotient. 35 minus 5 is 30. 30 minus 5 is 25. 25 minus 5 is 20. Minus 5 is 15. Minus 5 is 10. Minus 5 is 5. Minus 5 gets us all the way down to 0. In, in this case, again, you count how many times you subtracted the quotient. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So x would equal 7. Really, the goal of this really, this lesson is to get the students thinking that division is just repeated subtraction.